In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on maxima minima. We'll be solving it again by second derivative test. This is a very famous problem. You'll be given some profit. In some companies, what happens? It's like that only, right? Some profit is there and we ask the employees to maximize the profit using minimum raw materials and all. Here, we are not concerned with raw materials, but yes, we are definitely concerned with maximizing the profit. It says, find the maximum profit a company can make if the profit is given by Px is equal to 41 plus 24x minus 18x square. A previous year examination question again, I'll be writing the solution and let's see how we can do it. Let y is equal to Px and let it be 41 plus 24x minus 18x square. Now, my first task is what? My first task is to solve it with the help of first derivative test. Let me find out the first derivative of y. So first derivative would be dy by dx, which is equal to constant differentiation with respect to x is 0. So it is 24 minus 18 multiplied by 2x, which is nothing but 24 minus 36x. And now for critical points, for stationary points or for turning points, my first derivative should be 0. So put dy by dx is equal to 0. So what is it? It is 24 is equal to 36x, right? So it goes on the table of 12 directly. So 2 upon 3 is equal to x. Now 2 upon 3 is x, but we do not know whether this value is giving me maximum or minimum. For that, we need to find out the second order derivative. So finding d2y by dx square finding d2y by dx square, what do we have? If dy by dx is equal to 24 minus 36x, so definitely my d2y by dx square, 24 is vanishing. It is minus 36, which is less than 0. And anything less than 0 in second order derivative gives me a maxima. So that means definitely I'm going to get a maxima. And the maxima is corresponding to x is equal to 2 by 3. So I write the maximum or the maxima is obtained the maxima is obtained when what is my x value when my x is equal to 2 by 3 but it is not asking you that when the maxima is obtained it is asking you what is the maximum profit so the maximum profit that you have to find out only then you'll fetch whole of the marks so the maximum profit is what Maximum profit is equal to P of X it was there. Definitely this time it will be P of 2 by 3. So that means in the profit equation you will be putting 2 by 3. So it is 41 plus 24 into X minus 18 into X square. So minus 18 into 4 by 9. Now cancel certain things. 9 ones are 9 twos are 3 ones are 3 eights are. So the answer is what? It is 41 plus 16 minus 8 or it is nothing but 41 plus 8 which is 49. So the maximum profit that a company can make is what? It is 49. So maximum profit a company can make is 49. And that is your answer. So this is how you do the questions based on maxima minima using the second order derivative test.